this instrument for imaging specimens from various fields of research where people are interested to know about the structure property correlation these can be users from physics or chemistry material science and metallurgy life sciences biology soft materials in general Welcome to the High Resolution Electron Microscopy Facility at IIT Hyderabad. This is India's first cold field emission gun TEM. So what you see here is the JEOL JEM F200 microscope, which is operated at 200 kilovolts. We have a cold field emitter here, and this instrument has an EDX detector attached with it. The instrument has a capability of resolving 1.4 angstrom resolution in STEM mode and 1.6 angstrom resolution in the TEM mode. So using this microscope, you can cater almost 70% of most of the material science needs. So today we'll have a look at one of the nanoparticle samples. What you see here are nanoparticles used in battery materials. We are trying to understand what sort of arrangement of planes you have here. So these fringes that you see are atomic planes. And by understanding with different elemental doping and concentrations, how the structure changes and thereby how the properties of a material are affected. The materials can span across application areas in various areas of science. It can be energy materials, batteries, metals and alloys and so on. And uh, by help of using advanced characterization tools like this, we actually can get a strong correlation between what changes happen on the atomic level and how they influence the properties on the larger scale. So as the name suggests, it is transmission electron microscope. So the electrons have to go through the sample and whatever interactions happened is recorded on the screen as we see here. So in the other mode, which is called as scanning transmission electron microscope. So, so what you're seeing here is the electron beam is spread over like a cylinder in a parallel illumination mode. And you can also make the beam like a cone and you can scan over the surface. And that is what you get in scanning transmission electron microscopy images. And when you do that, you can actually correlate with each pixel what is the composition associated with the material and then you can get a compositional map. So you get structural and compositional information about your sample by using the transmission electron microscope. That is it.